Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll be discussing GCP Digital Leader real exam questions. This is part 4 of the series. Before we start, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload a video. Starting with question 16, your organization is developing an application that will capture a large amount of data from millions of different sensor devices spread all around the world. Your organization needs a database that is suitable for worldwide high-speed data storage of large amount of unstructured data. Which Google Cloud product should your organization use? Okay, so the question is asking for a Google Cloud product which can store large amount of unstructured data. So right off the bat, Cloud SQL is not the answer because Cloud SQL is an RDBMS, Relational Database Store, uh, Management System, and it stores data in the structured format. So C is not the answer. Similarly, A Firestore is also not the answer because it's a NoSQL database. So uh, we've crossed out A and C. We're left with B and D, Cloud Data Fusion and Cloud Big Table. So Cloud Data Fusion is an ETL. So an ETL is basically used to organize data from multiple sources into one single source. So we don't need that in the question. We just need a cloud product which stores unstructured data. We don't need something that takes data from one place to the other. So ETL or cloud, well, cloud data fusion is not the answer. So we have canceled A, B, and C. So here's a slide with all the definitions of Firestore, Cloud Data Fusion, and Cloud SQL. So we have canceled these three. So Cloud Big Table, which is option D, is our answer. So finally, Option D, Cloud Big Table, is the answer for question 16. Moving on to question 17. Your organization is building an application running in Google Cloud. Currently, software builds, tests, and regular deployments are done manually, but you want to reduce work for the team. Your organization wants to use Google Cloud Managed Solutions to automate your build, testing, and deployment process. Which Google Cloud product or feature should your organization use? Now let's go through the options. Option A, Cloud Scheduler, Option B, Cloud Code, Option C, Cloud Build, and Option D, Cloud Deployment Manager. Now, Option A, Cloud Scheduler is like an alarm. It's used to kick jobs, so it's not the answer. Option B, Cloud Code, is like GitHub. It's a code depository. That is also not the answer. And Option D, Cloud Deployment Manager, it automates infrastructure creation. So we don't need that, so D is also not the answer. So A, B, and D have been eliminated. So C, Cloud Build is the answer. So here's a slide with all the definitions. Cloud Scheduler, scheduled for kick jobs. Cloud Code, like GitHub, and it's a code depository. And D, Cloud Deployment Manager, as automates infrastructure creation. So finally, Option C, Cloud Build, is the answer for question 17. Question 18. Which Google Cloud product can report on and maintain compliance on your entire Google Cloud organization to cover multiple projects? Let's go through the options. Option A, Cloud Logging. Option B, Identity and Access Management. Option C, Google Cloud Armor. Option D, Security Command Center. Cloud Logging, option A. It's basically for log management. It's like a register which uh, uh, checks in, which takes in the data. So suppose you're entering a building. So you enter your name, the time you entered, and other details. So it's basically like that. It stores that kind of information. It's for log management. We don't need that. So A is not the answer. Option B, identity and access management, is for access control. We don't need a Google Cloud product which has access control in the question. So B is not the answer. So A and B have been eliminated. Google Cloud Armor, uh, which is option C, from the name you can see that it's, it's for protection. It's for protection against cyber attacks, DDoS attacks. So it prevents DDoS attacks, but we don't need Google Cloud Armor in the question. So that is not what it requires. So C has also been eliminated. So here's a slide explaining why A, B, and C are not the answers. Please go through the options. So clearly, since A, B, and C have been eliminated, 
D, Security Command Center is the answer. So for question 18, D, Security Command Center is our answer. Moving on to question 19. Your organization needs to establish private network connectivity between its on-premises network and its workloads running in Google Cloud. You need to be able to set up the connections as soon as possible. Which Google Cloud product or feature should you use? Right off the bat, we have two possible answers, Cloud Interconnect and Cloud VPN. The thing is, Cloud Interconnect is more expensive than VPN. So whenever we're talking about anything cloud related, we need an option which is more cost efficient. That's, since A is more expensive, A is not the answer. So A has been eliminated. So option B, which is direct peering, is also not the answer. Uh, it's basically for connectivity between an IoT and the GCP edge connectivity. So A and B have been eliminated. We have already discussed that C is the answer, but let's see why D is also not the answer. So Cloud CDN, Content Delivery Network, it's basically, uh, it might not just be between on-premises and workloads. It can be between the end users too, from on-premises to end users. That's why Cloud CDN is not the answer. So A, B, and D have been eliminated. Here's a slide explaining why they are not the answers. So since A, B, and D are not the answers, so clearly C is our answer. So finally, for question 19, Cloud VPN, which is option C, is the answer. Now moving on to the last question of this part. Question 20, your company has been using a shared facility for data storage and will be migrating to Google Cloud. If the internal application uses Linux custom images, they need to be migrated. Which Google Cloud product should you should you use to maintain the custom images? Let's go through the options. Option A, App Engine Flexible Environment. Option B, Compute Engine. Option C, App Engine Standard Environment. And Option D, Google Kubernetes Engine. So firstly, we see that there are two similar options. Option A and C, app in both, both are app engine environments. One is flexible and one is standard. Now, A, app engine flexible environment is for app scaling. So it scales the app up or down, and it's for load balancing. So it's for app scaling. So we don't need the app engine flexible environment in this case. Similarly, we don't need app engine standard environment either. The difference between standard and flexible environment is that in standard environment, the uh, it's pre-configured, so it's not flexible. You can't scale it up or down. But App Engine flexible environment is flexible. You can scale it up or down. So neither of them are the answers. So A and C have been eliminated. Now option D, Google Kubernetes engine. It deploys Kubernetes, but we don't need that in the question. That is not what the question is asking for. So D is also eliminated. So we have eliminated A, C, and D. So clearly B is our answer. Here's a slide with all the reasons why A, C, and D are not the answers. Since A, C, and D were eliminated, so clearly option B, which is Compute Engine, is our answer for this question. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Once again, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. That was the end of part four of GCP Digital Leader with exam questions. See you guys in the next part.